G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv and an Embarcadero MVP. In this session, we're going to build a simple database app using IB Lite for Android and connect to both a local and remote database. Let's begin with a new multi-device application and blank one is just fine. And we're going to connect up a database. Again, it's going to be the employee database, but this time, this is through the FD connection on manually and go into the connection properties. And I'm just going to go employee temporarily and copy that and set our driver to IB Lite, which we lose our uh, connection, but I'm just going to paste that back in. Our username is sysdba and password master key. I should have tested that, but we can test it manually. Okay, that works. And let's turn off that login prompt. We'll need an FD query and we'll select star from employee and set that active to true. Now what I'm also gonna do is I'm going to untick this runtime option, which means that our FD query will be active at design time, but not at runtime when we first start up. And in our form create, I'm just going to open it up. Let's throw a list view on and align that to client. And we'll come down to the item appearance and set the item appearance to be list item detail right. And then we'll bind some data to that. So let's put the full name in the item text over here and the job country in the item detail on the right. So we now have enough to be able to run this on Windows, at least test it on Windows. So let's give that a go. Okay, and we're good. Yeah, we can close that. Okay, we will now want to deploy this to Android. But before we can do that, we need to check the deployment options. And we need to add a featured file. In particular, we need interbase to go. One other thing we need to do is come down and untick the IB to go. And we want to keep the IB light. And we'll do that for both Android platforms. The binaries are the same for both IB Lite and IB to go. It's just a re registration file difference, uh, depending on which one you want to be able to use. And IB Lite is all we're going to need. And we can see that it's added a bunch of things to our application to get Interbase Lite working. And we need to add one more, which is our database. And so if I click just the add file, Okay, so our remote name is employee. So what we'll do is in the form create our FD connection dot params dot database, we will assign, in fact, what we're going to need is the IOU tools unit. So we are just going to assign the get documents path which is, we'll return this, uh, oh, in fact, I need to change that to assets internal. And that's basically the um, My Documents equivalent on Android. And so that's what this will return. And then we combine that to get with employee to get the, the full, full path to our database. Now, what I've done on my machine is, if I want to test this on Windows, I could have an if def in here to say if it's Android, use this, this path, uh, else use the, the path to our database, um, that path. But what I've done is I've just copied the employee database into my documents on my local machine so that would work, work the same one, both Android and Windows. And just know something we need to save a runtime on that one as well, on the connection. Okay, let's run that on Android. And 
we can um, scroll up and down on that. And that works just perfectly fine. Next we're going to connect to a remote database. This is something that can't be done with SQLite and is kind of fairly unique to uh, Interface Lite and iv to go So let's start by updating our user interface a bit. Now I'm just going to get the database path to the employee um, table or database on my laptop, which is this connection here. And I'm just going to add the port number the interface is running on, uh, which is required on Android. It works fine in Windows, but on Android it doesn't recognize um, the interface port and we get an exception. So I think that's enough. When we change our radio button and local is checked, it should be true. So we're defaulting to local. And if we change the connection, we closing the connection and opening it. So, and if it's local, we specify our local database, otherwise we specify our remote database. And we'll also do that. So we'll close our connection and then this will cause the, the connection to open. So let's test that on Windows because it's much faster to debug on Windows. And make sure I've got everything hooked up correctly. So there's our local connection and there's our remote connection. I've added a two on the uh, remote remote one so we can tell the difference. So let's run this on Android. And there's our local database. And you can click remote. And we see there's the remote one. So that's uh, using IB Lite to connect to both a local and remote database.